John Nord. Uh, I apologize for not getting out any uh, new material lately. I've gone through another major back surgery and I'm just getting over that. But uh, I wanted to go over an older video today that uh, I put out um, when I first started this and it was hot bluing and uh, the uh, audio quality on it and the filming wasn't very good but uh, I thought I'd try to remake that a little bit so uh, it's a little more understandable and uh, hopefully y'all can grasp it a little better. Uh, hot bluing's a, a good way to preserve your items and add a real rich uh, blue color to your steel items. And uh, it's uh, not too hard to do. It's, it's a little expensive to get started if you're using the uh, um, purchased uh, salts that you buy. But uh, there are some home recipes for salts. I'm not gonna offer those because some of them are a little uh, dangerous, I would think, and uh, some of them aren't, but uh, a lot of guys use them, and uh, I probably will at some time, too. Uh, I purchased the uh, uh, Burnell's uh, Oxnate Number no. 7 um, Blue and Salts when I first started, and I'm almost out of those, so I haven't been doing a lot of hot bluing lately because it's pretty expensive to buy another uh, bucket of that stuff, but... Uh, that's what you really need to do a good job uh, unless you do have a good uh, home recipe that works good for you anyway i'm going to go through this i'm going to talk on it's the same footage but i'm going to talk through it and hopefully you can understand me a little better and get a grasp of how you do this so stay tuned stick with me and at the end of the video if you like it uh, like it and uh, subscribe to my channel. I have nearly a hundred videos now and uh, I'm trying my best to, to teach what I know about uh, jewelry, uh, buckle making, spur making, and anything else I come across. So uh, let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear your comments. Okay, uh, this is my video. Like I said, uh, this is my setup here on bluing. I bought this at, uh, I believe, Tractor Supply. It's a double burner gas setup. It's got an igniter on it. You just hook a propane bottle to it. And uh, this is real convenient because I can set my salts in one bucket on one burner and my boiling water in a, another bucket on the other burner. Here I've got the uh, clean water here. I'm gonna boil this. This is for rinsing and also adding hot water to the salts. You don't want to add cold water to hot salt. It will boil over on you and burn you. So make sure that you don't do that. So you want to have some boiling water on this side here or at least really hot water. And it should be clean water. And then on this left side, you want your uh, stainless steel pot with uh, your uh, thermometer mounted in it on the side so you can read the temperature. The temperature is very important in this process. And this uh, thermometer here came from Bernal's. It's got a black dot on it. Uh, you can, uh, ideally, I tried to blue at 315 degrees uh, it will start bluing about at that black mark on the thermometer. I think that's uh, around 295, but the optimum is 315. I don't like to go over 315. If you have uh, if you have overlays on your object put on with 400 degrees solder, and you go over. Uh, 315 well you'll be find it in the bottom of the bucket okay here's a buckle I'm gonna blue I clean it up really good uh, now you can see here after polishing it we have a lot of black uh, polish down in the cracks and crevices 
we have to get all that out before we uh, uh, try to blue this thing. So we're going to use some WD-40. We're going to spray it on there and uh, scrub it really good and get all that greasy polish uh, out of there. I try to polish my uh, items before I blew them because it makes for a really shiny uh, blue finish and uh, makes it look really good. Anyway, I scrub this one up with WD-40. Then I have a bucket here and it's got Dawn dish detergent in it. Dawn is really good for degreasing things and cleaning them up good. So we're going to use this a lot. We uh, clean the buckle up real good in the Dawn solution. We clean the spurs up that we're doing in the Dawn solution. All of this is done before we start our bluing. Uh, you want to get all set up and organized. And this water is distilled water, not tap water. You want to use distilled water so you don't have any impurities in the water. Uh, you also want to use distilled water in this pot on the right side that's boiling. You don't want to have any impurities like salts or anything like that in your clean water. So make sure you uh, uh, do that. Now here I am, I'm cranking everything up, lighting it, and uh, getting my fire going on both sides. Make sure you have a full tank of butane, and we'll get it up to temperature here. The water side, I don't have a temp gauge in it, don't need one, I just try to get it up near boiling. The salts are already put in here. And Brunel's, when you buy the salts, it will come with a instruction booklet telling you how much, how many pounds of salt to put with how many gallons of water. That's a starting point. You refine that by uh, watching your temperature. Like if you're, uh, if you want to raise the boiling point of your, uh, uh, salt you want to add a little bit of salt if you want to lower the boiling point you want to uh, add a little water uh, this is showing the blue and salts oxygenate number seven comes from Brunel's uh, I buy this by the five gallon bucket and uh, Back to that temperature deal though, you start you, you start with Brunel's instructions about how much to put in there. You start heating it up and you watch your gauge. If it starts boiling before the 295 or the optimum 315 point, you want to uh, add a little bit more salt. That will make the temperature increase to uh, get it to boil and optimally you want it just boiling at 315 if you're boiling uh at say 320 you need to bring that down so you want to low, uh, add a little bit of water and these instructions are laid out in Brunel's uh, guide for bluing so you can go through that. Okay, now here we're boiling, the salts are boiling, and you wanna make sure this salt does not get on you. It will stick to you and it will hurt and boil, uh, burn your arms <laughs> real good. So you wanna wear gloves and everything. I've got hangers on my spurs here, and you have that hanger coming up out of that salt so you don't have to get down near it. I've got it boiling uh, just at 315. Now when you put your spurs in there, it's going to quit boiling for a few minutes and then it will come back to the boiling point. And like I say, it's real important to have it boiling at that temperature. Now here's the buckle. I've got it on a hanger also and the hanger sticks well up out of the salt. And I raise it up and I check it after about five minutes. I just look at them to see what color, uh, that they're turning colors. And typically we want to uh, boil them for about 15 minutes, but that depends on the shade you want. But 15 minutes has been good for me. And uh, 
I rinse them a couple of times during the boiling process. I take them out on the hanger, I dip them in that clean pot of water and put them back into the salts. I do that during that 15 minute period. And that's it. I uh, hope I helped you decide whether you want to blue or not. It's a good practice. After you get these blued, you might want to wax them with uh, Renaissance wax.